Hello, and welcome back to Rift Wizard. Okay, so, um, I, just so you know, I, I, you know, I like to, to try and be transparent about these things. This is a new recording session. Therefore, um, I have just seen some of the comments that were made on episode one. Alright? So, that doesn't help me or you at all. <laughs> but maybe it lets people know that uh, if you did leave me some helpful comments, I do read them and they will be applied to future runs, but they're not going to apply for five more episodes after you watch that first one, which doesn't matter because you're only going to find this out when you watch this episode, which is five episodes. Anyway, so um, the good news is that I did read some comments and, and I have, I've, I've also looked up a little bit of uh, helpful advice on how to play this game. So apparently T is uh, very useful. You can see what T does there. Basically shows you the threat zone of, uh, you know, all the creatures on the board, which is really, really helpful for when you place your wizard down. Um, does a lot to uh, let you know, basically, if you're within, um, like, threat immediately. Uh, someone also let me know um, that pressing A lets you collect all of the, the collectibles on the floor, which is a nice little quality of life feature. I appreciate that. I also looked up a, um, a little simple guide that, uh, you know, gives you gives you an idea. Press S to purchase spells. Oh, that's, that's a nice shortcut button. Um, what I've been doing is not necessarily wrong, but it could use a little bit of work. Um, so what, you know, what I've been doing, um, basically like, oh, uh, looking at what the gates offer, you know, for instance, nature circles, uh, might tell me, hey, I should probably take a nature spell. That's not necessarily a bad idea. However, um, you should not, uh, as I, I probably mentioned already, you shouldn't, uh, double, triple, quadruple down on one kind of, um, damage type. You also shouldn't uh, double, triple, quadruple down on a single kind of spell type, um, meaning AOE, uh, line damage, or single single uh, target, you know, stuff like that. Um, you're going to want to focus, not even focus, but basically spread out a little bit into other types. Um, and then lastly, from what I've seen, you don't want to do what I've been doing, which is buying like a bazillion different spell types. Um, so, you might want to use, uh, like, circles to improve your current spells rather than buying new spells, is what I'm kind of taking in. Um, so that could be, that could be good. Uh, wolf, I don't think that wolf is a good, necessarily a, a great starting, uh, spell. So we're gonna, we're gonna take poison sting and then I'm gonna improve that. Poison sting is a pretty good starting spell, I think. Uh, I would like to do lightning again one day because it's one of the few builds that I can kind of work even though I didn't <laughs> um, but you know never mind so yeah um, you can apparently get away with um, just like having three or four spells and then just improving those you want you want to focus on a combo basically I think a good way of focusing on a combo might be like okay we're gonna go nature right so we could go we could look at our nature skills so hibernation for instance um your minions gain 75 ice resistance your living minions can freeze um upon taking ice damage so we know that nature and ice have a combo we know that uh, nature and dark have a combo poison enemies take for additional poison each oh, i mean that's not really a combo that's just dark for instance for some reason i'm not sure why uh, then there's nature holy each turn heal each of your minions for 2 HP Interesting, that's actually really good. That's a really cool one um, There's maybe not a lot of nature skills You're summoned living in nature units gain venom spit venom spit is a ranged attack which deals for poison damage and inflicts poison for 10 turns so um, <clears throat> This is a nice kind of added skill that just lets all of your minions do poison damage and then you could get something like mega venom which would make poison damage do even more so good stuff um we're gonna go we're gonna go to the nature circle 
maybe to uh, improve our, our poison sting. Or I might just take the Mega Venom right away. Ooh, look at that. All three gates right next to each other right away. Um, so we could go like here and then um, kill that guy, kill that guy, and then these guys have a different range. So we're gonna wanna, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. So we're gonna take a little bit of damage here. That's that's unavoidable, unfortunately. Um, hmm. Unfortunately, these things are immune to poison. So we're gonna take some damage here. I'm wondering if I could move a little bit. Kind of, you know what I kind of want to do? This is dumb. Is I kind of want to take Toxic Burst. Would it would be kind of a waste a little bit. You know what? I'm going to use this teleporter. We're going to teleport here. And I'm going to go ahead and just upgrade our Poison Sting, maybe. Acidity. Damage targets lose all poison resistance. Oh, that's kind of nice. Yeah, let's take that. That would make poison, like, way more valuable. Um, and then... What else? Max charges would be nice. Duration. Poison sting gains 60 duration. That would be really, really, really nice. Let's do that. Well, actually, max charges would be... Um, yeah, let's do duration. And I'm gonna save the rest for now. We could take uh, Max or Turbo Venom or whatever it's called. Turbo Venom. We're gonna have to take a mana potion pretty soon. It's okay, we're gonna get an extra one. So now we need to take a mana potion. We are gonna take some damage. guys do two physical damage kind of want to hit the guys that are coming in so that I don't take a bunch of damage we're gonna die unless I heal this is this was a very poor floor on my part I admit that uh, I might actually die on this floor because I don't have any mana now Yeah, I might actually die here. You know what? You know what? This is this is a practice run. This is this is what you call a practice run. Doesn't count. Doesn't count. None of this counts. Hey, I just realized that um, acidity is is actually gonna make it so that I can poison gates. That's kind of nice. All right, all right. That was awful, and we still don't have any mana. So, uh, we definitely do need more spells than the one I've got. I, I really like um, the burst. I'm wondering if, uh, is there any of these that offer a mana potion? Yes, that one, that one. There's only the two right now. Warp Shrine enhances translocation spells. With, you can cast the spell and then also after it is resolved, to deal 11 arcane damage to all enemies within four tiles of the caster. That's kind of interesting. Firebomb. Mana Potion, Portal Key, Chaos Spell. Chaos Spell could be kind of fun. That, and the Dark Circle might be good. Okay, so why don't we take... Why don't we take um, Toxic Burst, or I guess we, I, I, I guess I still kind of want that other skill. Um, nature's, I'm doing it again, aren't I? I'm doubling down on, on bad decisions. But we're gonna take, I'm gonna take Mega Venom, and I'm gonna learn a different spell. I'm gonna take Death Bolt. Because it's only, it only costs one. I don't think that a spell can ever cost less than one. So I may as well take a level one spell, um, in preparation to maybe upgrade it on a dark circle. This is gonna be a tricky floor. I think it will be worth it, though. Um, where is that bell? This is actually not a bad place to spawn. We could go here, and then I'm gonna get rid of a couple of these gates. Uh, 
Um, and then what I'm going to do is actually just use the Chaos Bell right away. Because that's going to explode a lot of bombs on the field. The bombs are definitely what I'm a little bit concerned by. So this guy, is this guy berserked? He is, but I think he's still gonna chase after me. Oh, what? They got to hit me? Oh my God. I was kind of almost able to turn that around, but no, okay. All right, let's do it. Let's do another one. I, I'm, I'm trying to learn new things here. Okay, so we've got um, Ruby Heart, Enchantment Circle, Enchantment Circle. That one's got healing and mana. It's got, uh, it, it has giant bats that we have to worry about. Okay. Well, um, I guess we could take an enchantment, but I don't think, is there a level one enchantment? No, there is not. Enchantment is inherently a higher level spell. So that means we can take whatever we want. Kind of want to take, let's take Death Bolt. I like Death Bolt. <clears throat> Death Bolt is a nice level one spell. Because it, it uh, you know, especially on the first floor, it's really, you can get away with only casting it a couple of times. And, um, you know, yeah, like three times and, and then you, you don't have to cast it anymore. So that's kind of nice. Um, I'm definitely going to want to take this rift. Oh, I almost like clicked on it without picking up our SP. Don't want to do that. So let's have a look at this. So that's, that is our threat range. Um, there's only the two gates. Unfortunately, both gates are pretty far apart from each other. This giant bat has a lot of health. Uh, I'd almost like to get, like jump on the insert on the circle. Oh, that, that uh, giant bat is actually gonna be a huge problem. Um, I'd almost like to take like a poison bolt again and try and wear these giant bats down a little bit so that I can death bolt them. Could be good. Let's uh, let's take poison sting. I'm gonna take poison sting and I'm gonna put myself down right here. We're gonna poison sting the giant bats. And I'm also just gonna start hitting some regular bats. Uh, these guys are gonna come in. They're, they're gonna get to me very soon, aren't they? How much damage? Five physical damage. These guys hurt a lot. So that means we're gonna we're gonna have to hurt them harder. Okay, so he has seven health left. We're gonna do nine dark damage, so that means we can we can turn them into a a, bat, a, a skeletal bat. They're gonna have 38 health, which is really good. Um, we can also poison this other bat, but we're you know we're not in great shape right now. I, I won't be I won't lie. I want to be hit this other giant bat as soon as they're about to die. Eleven. Uh, 10. Okay, so this giant bat is about to die. We're going to death bolt them. And then, uh, how much does death bolt do again? Nine? Okay, so as soon as this one is close to death, like right there, death bolt. Perfect. We'll death bolt that other bat so that we don't have to fight the other one. Okay, so these two uh, skeletal giant bats should be enough to clear the floor. Um, we did take about uh, take a little bit of damage, but that's okay. Okay. Skeletal bats are doing wonders. Nice. Good enough. So our death bolt is at three. Our poison sting is at sixteen. Um, so we don't have a lot of death bolts left. What do we got in the next floor? Arcane, that's a nice one. Storm Charge Shrine, enhances ice or lightning spell with for each 15 damage dealt by this spell or a minion, it summons, deal nine ice or nine lightning damage to a random enemy unit. 
for each 15 damage dealt by the spell or a minion it summons. That's an interesting idea. We could take, I don't know if we could take something, except there's iron imps on that floor. Um, I, I wouldn't mind trying checking out the shrine, that, uh, that shrine, honestly. We do want to t uh, take a look at the en enchantment. Arcane is very tempting. And then there's just another enchantment circle. Okay, so let's um, let's have a quick look at it, the enchantment. I kind of like the idea of enchanting a, a summoning spell so that we can um, like summon a bunch of enemies and then just do a, a lot of random damage on the floor. Would be kind of cool, like Mercurize. Mercurize would be kind of nice because that does poison damage and physical damage each turn for six turn and then and then the target dies and turns into a summon does that summon also count towards the uh spell i'm not sure it's an interesting idea um i wonder if it, can i can i mercurial vengeance i was wondering if i could hit this with acidity but I guess I can't. I, I can hit my main poison bolt with acidity. Um, but I guess it has to be a lightning spell, doesn't it? Ice or lightning spell. So let's look at ice or lightning. So we'll look at ice enchantment. Eye of ice. Three turns deals 15 ice damage to a random enemy. Okay, so we could do eye of ice. And then basically every three turns it would do 15 damage and then another 15 damage that would basically just upgrade any of the eyes right because this does three lightning as well we would only want to take one of these so we could take like eye of lightning and then with the idea explicit purpose in mind of uh upgrading it at the shrine i'll save the rest of my sp for now So what's, what is our threat range? Now these guys are iron imps. They're gonna be resistant to lightning. They are not resistant, however, to poison sting. They are resistant to dark uh, magic though. So I think I wanna spawn here and then um, take out this gate. I'm gonna throw down the eye of lightning right away. And oh, we're gonna, we're gonna take down this gate. Oops, wrong button. Oh, wrong, wrong button. Poison stain. So we're taking damage. Uh, I'm gonna use my healing potion now. Actually, what is this energy shield? Gain immunity to arcane, dark, lightning, and holy damage for 30 turns. What are these guys doing? Physical, so not really applicable. Um... Nothing about this right now is very good. Kind of, I still kind of want to take Toxic Burst. Toxic Burst is nice. These guys are highly uh, weak to fire. I could... Well, these guys don't turn into skeletons, unfortunately. Slain living units are raised as skeletons. Maybe they do. No, they don't. It, it, that seems, like, not fair. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Because they turn into a Spriggan Bush... It, 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 like, undoes the death spell. That seems, like, unreasonable. Um, okay. We're gonna take our healing potion. Um, we'll turn this guy... Is this guy resistant to sorcery? I don't understand. Does, did he have a shield? Um, alright. Well, we're not in a great position right now. Yeah. Oh man. All right. Well, this was a this was a bad this was a bad episode. I'm trying to I'm trying new things and I'm not applying them very well. So uh, I'm just gonna have to keep learning. Um, if you enjoyed this episode, definitely hit that like button. Yeah, I am ending it. Sorry. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Have a good one.